Hi, and welcome back to my Let's Play Legacy of the Void series. I'm Fwop, and we just crossed the Mobius core out on the asteroid battle and fought them off our ship. Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. As well as the patriarchy. Shattered, and yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. This is how it happens, guys. Social revolution. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen one brave hope. white male Protoss stands up and changes everything. You were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers, but now you stand as a warrior. The Protoss version of it is clear that the age of casts has come to its end. Today, a noble woodcutter who saves the day. Become Templar. Now everyone's a Templar, and no one is special. <clears throat> your hybrid facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction well, our dan is humble bragging up here you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die He waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the golden armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the psi matrix is essential. Uh -oh. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. New faction of things. Let's see. Alarak, what have you to say? Oh, such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Mm-hmm. Sucks that Alaric's always right, Artanis. Always. So many lost. 
lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand for Ire. All right. Cool. The Is there Golden only Arm one mission has there? Devastated the Scepter hmm. Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. We got plans. Oh man, there goes a carrier. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ire. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. It's pretty good. Whoa, there's a Colossus staring at the... Yes! That is awesome. I'm so happy to have seen that. When I first saw Colossi, I thought they were pretty stupid looking, really. The deeds of a Templar <clears throat> suit you, Kerax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design. A battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Artanis begins the war on design. Hierarch, the purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Like I was talking yes. about earlier today with Levi, to I'm really command. excited to see um, is Alarak and As Phoenix is in else. the Nexus on Heart uh, to become Heroes of the Storm. I questioned the decision. Though I wonder there if he'll have changed his name by that worthy. point. To something not else. Fall into the same like, mental traps I'm curious, I did, my friend. since he was just talking the about that. The purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Daylam now follow me. Self doubt will only cloud your decision making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. That's my plan, bro. Alright, so let's see what the mission holds for us. Mm, oh, we already heard that. Iyer is the only place to go. Brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Oh. Rohan <laughs> has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell and exists within it and the Kala. But he I feel like should call him out on making up a word there. Complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ire by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their Tencent connection to the best. Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit. Yeah, Alarak. such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. 
Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us. That wasn't a great answer, but understandable. Your people are lost, Arpanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. Such a snide. Snide guy. The Psi Matrix's power structures are accessible from three locations across Aya. We must divide our forces to destroy them. I shall coordinate you and your executor's efforts from aboard the Spear of Adun. We can begin as soon as you are ready, Hyra. Alright, so our option, or our uh, special objectives, achievements are don't lose any units to psionic energy in the last section of the mission and control at least 15 enemy units with Karax's reclamation ability, which means we'll be controlling Karax directly which means it is a uh, Ayer, hero mission, some of my people at least are part of it. For the, first time. They were born on and have only heard the last section, of course, own. sounds like a troop mission, we or we wouldn't have to worry about losing now troops. Now the power of the Keystone is within our grasp, Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes. Though not as we initially suspected. Well, that's kind of the thing Still, about prophecies. His tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I. All right, everybody's the got something to say. Was first sparked three thousand years ago. Cybros in the background looking awesome strange. there. Such a joyous event, and I only know of it from what has been recorded in history. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psi Matrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes, you must understand, though. To have so little of experience to recall it, my account is capable of flaws, of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our histories should be viewed after all. Without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. Mm. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. They await your preference. Alright, new type of starfighter here. Phasing armor. All right, graviton beam disables enemy ground units. Phase out the mirage after taking damage, putting further damage for the next two seconds. Cannot occur more than once every five seconds. Wow. And they can still attack? Well, one of the Phoenix's main problems is how lightweight and destroyable they are. Um, and it looks like we have access to carrier the carrier, which heals nearby friendly mechanical units, including each other. That's not okay. Also, why isn't that one on the right being healed? What's up? What's up with this? It's not close enough? Valor is eternal. Or these guys. Wow, they must do about 40 damage each, something like that. Maybe more. 500 damage over 20 seconds to target enemy unit or structure, huh? Um... 
Uh, I don't know. I can't. Re the carrier's ability to heal is incredible. The Taldarim Wrathwalker robotics are now online, Hierarch. Wrathwalker. Attack single units for heavy damage. And attack while moving. Bonus damage to structures. Hmm. Uh, that would combo well with uh, the uh, Whirlwind Zealots, I would think. Uh, if you're out of AoE. Uh, or the Vanguards, actually. You could use them for AoE. They're not as good against light targets, I believe. Actually, I should check out what kind of damage these guys do. I assume it's still much better against armored targets. Blood Hunters, Havocs are so good. These guys, pretty good. Uh -huh. I still have not properly used the Ascendant. Maybe I should just give up on them. I'll take the High Templar if I'm going to go with these new Wrath Walkers because I would like to give them a shot. The, uh, then I can Plasma Storm my front ranks, uh, restoring shields to my friends and uh, getting nice AoE damage on anything, assaulting them, make up for the Wrath Walkers' lack of AoE. The Destroyer I still think is the superior option. Uh, Arbiters are kind of cool, but then they get focused down when you're not paying attention. And carriers, I'm going to go with that. Because mechanical repair is kind of a thing. Greetings, Hierarch. The Keystone is reacting to void energies on the surface of Ire. But this scale, it can only be... Amon. How long until the Keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The Keystone shows clear evidence of tampering, likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The Foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of a Zalnaga. You will find a way, Karax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel, not a prison. Hmm. I have such tangible memories of Ire. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera. Its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took me to Aldera as a youngling, too. It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. <laughs> and the warp core. Looks like it's fully charged. 15 seconds firing 200 random shots that deal 15 area damage each. 30 versus armored. That is 3,000 damage over 15 seconds. Freeze all enemy units and structures in time for 20 seconds. And the purifier beam. All of these are free as well. They just have a five minute cooldown. Hmm. Well, what do I want? I really want... Huh. 
once every five minutes isn't all that potent. I would kind of like to see solar bombardment, but not as much as I want some of these other things. I think Phoenix is fantastic. The reconstruction beam is also fantastic. I don't want Nexus Overcharge, it's kind of weak. Um, Orbit Assimilator is excellent for saving us minerals, which we always seem to run low on, and making Vespine incredibly easy to get. Um, it also saves us supply. Warp Harmonization is a thing. Mm. Orbital Strike is quite good. Uh, deploy Pylon, obviously inferior to Warp and Reinforcements, which is pretty much the same thing, plus four units. Uh, I think I'm gonna go like this. And then that'll give me 25 points. We will put it into, hmm. Shield Recharge. Shield Recharge is the one that affects our overall combat strength. Starting Supply is nice. So we'll max out Shield Recharge. And the rest will go into Starting Supply, as construction time isn't all that important, I think. I say that now. All right, and Purifier Beam seems great all on its own, so let's not put points into it. So we're going with basically an efficient set of point distribution from my viewpoint uh, so we can get the best out of each column the most effort in all categories as opposed to focusing on anything in particular uh, it does leave us with a good number of kind of instant troop call down abilities uh, econ economic boosts and um, I, the reconstruction beam is actually a really potent um, combat bonus as well. That'll help everywhere because basically what are our non mechanical units? Sentinels are mechanical, Dragoons are mechanical, Vanguards are mechanical, Dark Templar cannot be mechanical. Um, these are mechanical, these. There is no mechanical Templar unit. Mechanical mechanical, mechanical. Uh, so it looks like that reconstruction beam is definitely the way to go. Avon's forces are moving. It's time. All right, so we've heard everything, and it's been like more than 20 minutes already. So I'm just going to end this episode here, and we will uh, have a couple short ones for this last assault. Oh, it looks like the Death Fleet is here with us. Oh, man. We are ready to go. We've united a peoples and it's time to crush our foes so in the next episode which i will be releasing immediately so you don't have to wait because that would be lame uh expect to see us rocking amon's house i assume there's only one or two missions left um decision is weakness do not examine act all right alarax got us i'll catch you next episode thanks for watching and until then Farewell.